cross media reach measurement reports are starting to roll out more in Google ads. If you're running video reach campaigns and you want more information about reach and frequency, this report is for you. So we will show you where this report lives in Google ads and what metrics you can review. Right now in Google ads, I am in the campaign view filtered by video campaigns. And while you may think that reviewing cross media reach would live under insights and reports, it doesn't, it lives under the measurement section. To find that you need to head over to goals, expand measurement and under attribution, we have cross media reach. Now, before I move any further, I have to say one thing, Google states that this report is only available for video reach or video view campaigns. So you may not see it if you've never run or aren't currently running those two campaign types within Google. In addition to that, as of the time I am recording this video, it's still not available in every account. So if you know you are running video reach or video view campaigns and you're still not seeing it, you will have to reach out to your Google rep. They should be able to grant you access. And a few of the things I will show you within this report aren't available in all countries. And we'll talk about those when we get there, but this is what you should see if you're coming into cross media reach for the first time. So let's go ahead and create a new report. First, go ahead and select your country. I'm going to make it easy. Choose the United States where I'm located, but notice that some say digital only and some like United States and Vietnam are left blank. We'll talk about that very soon, or we'll talk about it now because after you've chosen your country, you have to choose two options of how you would like to report. The first is digital video only. If you choose this option, this option is available in all countries because as the description says, it's for campaigns contained in Google ads. The other option, digital video plus traditional TV uses licensed third party sources. So when we chose the country up above, and if you fall under any one of these that say digital only can only use the first option, not all countries can use digital video plus traditional TV. And even if your country is eligible, you may not be running traditional TV campaigns anyway, like almost all of our client accounts. So for this video, I will just stick with the digital video only report. Next, you can look at choosing a sub location for the report. Now these sub locations are based upon the main location you chose when you started this report. National will include everything makes sense, but sub location moving down a little bit, will break your country down in this case to DMA sub locations. And it makes a lot of sense, especially when you're talking about video reach, especially when traditional TV is involved. DMA demographics are very common in the video and TV industries. So sub locations could be important to you. Even if you're targeting an entire country, maybe you have important markets in certain areas that you want to check on and create a specific report for just understand that as an option. And then you have to choose a reporting currency. The default is your billing settings and that's fine. And next we'll choose our campaigns. Notice that the data is only available from December 5th, 2021. So for now, I'll just pick everything in here just so I can get more information in this example, but choose your campaigns that are important to you and then we'll click done. And then let's go and create the report. The first thing you can do is change the dates to match what you want to look at. We see in the gray, there's much more information in the past. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit just to show you that we can't pull back a whole year's worth of information. We have to keep it to 92 days. So either I can pull this back to where it was, or I can take today's date and start moving in it closer where it's going to make much more sense. For now, I'll just creep it back in to find a decent date range, click apply. And then we'll see information has been updated. Looking at the default demographics, we're looking at the main two genders, ages 18 to 99. I can hone in on specific demographics if I wanted to. I can choose to look at just specific effective frequencies. Maybe I might consider one being too low to be considered a reach for my brand. I don't want them to be counted until at least we've reached them three times. That's what I consider to be effective. You can adjust those settings. And then based upon the country we selected when we chose the report, you can choose the population to be the actual census population for the country, or you can use digital population demographics and the numbers will change between the two. I'm just going to leave things here as is, but now we're looking at our on target reach for the entire United States. We're hitting 0.2% and I chose the census population and I know it's going to be low for this account because we're not targeting the entire U S we're only targeting specific states. Even within that, our targeting for the video campaigns isn't open to everybody. So there's no way that we should reach a higher percentage. That's not the goal of our campaigns. We look at the total number of people reached scrolling down. We look at total spend. There's demographics broken out. Remember, if you want to see these numbers change, maybe you just want to focus just on females. 
there we see our numbers will change down here. So it all comes down to the main settings up top. Now as I change those settings, our reach efficiency settings change. So first you have cost per on target reach. That is your total cost or ad spend for the campaigns divided by the on target reach and then cost per point, which is your total cost or ad spend for the campaigns divided by the total target rating points. And then scrolling down a little bit more, I'm gonna widen the demographics back again. We see frequency segment by demographic. So I'm hovering over females and males, ages 18 to 24. And for the people that we did get in front of and had a reach, the amount of times that they saw our ads, one time, two times, three times, and it goes all the way up to 10 plus. And then moving down again, here's the frequency by demographic that we established at the top, and then the campaigns that we chose. So without TV, it really is pushing more like a, just an overall media reach report. And that's fair. That's why I'm gonna pull this Google article for you. Here's an example Google gives when looking at digital video plus TV. We see in some of the settings at the top, there's a new option for TV spend adjustment. And then when looking at the reach overlap report, you will get different metrics on just digital, in this example in the dark blue, and just TV within the sky blue. Thus honing in on where these audiences overlap between the two different mediums. Google states that the main benefit for this report is gonna be for advertisers really focused on brand awareness. When we're always talking about reach and frequency, looking at unique users is always gonna be an important part. I know the example I gave you wasn't the best, but it came down to one of the accounts that actually had it in there that focused on reach. It's just the unfortunate part is that their geographic targeting isn't that broad. They aren't going after a broader audience, which is another benefit of being able to use the cross-media reach reports. My goal was to show you that this report does exist if you do value a lot of video brand awareness, and most importantly, where to find it within the Google Ads account. If you don't have this report yet, remember, you can always try to reach out to a Google rep. Hopefully you have one. If not, try to work with support because everything I showed you within the actual account was looking at digital video only. So you don't have to be running traditional TV campaigns in order to use the report. It's just that if you are, you're probably gonna get more information out of it. If you wanna get more information about reach within your Google Ads account, maybe check out this video about the Google Ads Reach Planner. Could give you some more insights there. But if there's anything else you have regarding the cross media reach report, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.